Hi, I'm Caesar from Tree People. It's a tough time right now, and one of the easiest ways to get through it is by getting a little bit closer to nature. I'm gonna help you do just that by teaching you how to take care of a tree in your own community. So as you can see, this tree is leaning over a little bit over to the side, and we're gonna try to fix that by using these black tree ties. So the purpose of these ties is to help guide the tree to grow nice and straight. Just like many of you need a little bit of help riding that first bicycle and you needed some training wheels. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use these ties and it's very important that you notice that there are two sides to this tie. There was a rounded side on one and then on the other side, there are two ridges running along the length. It's very important that you always make sure that the tree is in contact with that smooth rounded side. What this ensures is that the tree will not be scarred or damaged or cut by the tree tie and it can rub freely in, in case of any sudden gust of wind. Once you have the tree in contact with that smooth side, we're gonna go ahead and do a crisscross pattern, infinity sign, figure eight, whatever helps you remember that cross in between the tree and the stake. And once we do that, we're gonna insert one side into the other, just like that, but around the stake. is not to tighten them too tightly. The purpose of these is to actually make sure that the tree grows nice and straight, but if they're tightened too much, the tree will start to rely on them for its strength. The strength of the tree comes from the movement it gets from the wind. The wind stimulates the, uh, the roots of the trees to grow out nice and wide, grow a strong foundation, so it's harder to topple over. Just like when you guys were younger and you were playing with Legos, what's easier to topple over? A skinny tower or like a wide pyramid, right? It's like the same idea, but with the trees and the roots. Once it's tightened, once it's straight, we're gonna go ahead and finalize it by nailing it in. We'll go ahead and grab one of my nails and my hammer. And we're gonna nail it in. So now that our tree is nice and straight, now we gotta get down and dirty. I'm gonna go ahead and start removing a lot of these weeds, the grasses that's growing all around the tree. This is really important because the trees are competing with the grasses and the weeds for resources such as water, minerals, nutrients that are all inside that soil. Because trees for the first five years of their life really need that attention and care to really thrive within the city. So it's our job to really do our best to try to take care of them. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is start removing them and start pulling some soil back. And I'll explain a little bit about that later. I want to talk to you a little bit more about weeding. So most people think about trees roots about being straight down into the ground but that's not really the case. Trees roots actually grow nice and wide. So if you think about the tree canopy where all the branches and leaves are located, the roots extend twice as far as the branches. They're pretty wide and they're actually located within the first 18 inches of soil. So a foot plus another six inches. All right. So a reason why we actually weed is because these roots of the weeds, like the grasses, they can actually be located within the first 12 inches of soil. So you got 12 inches from the weeds, 18 inches from the trees. There's a lot of overlap where those two roots are located. So that means that's competition with water, that's competition for the, root, uh, for the nutrients and the minerals all within the soil. So as we weed, as we pull out all of these different invasive species from the tree, we're helping the tree thrive and actually be a lot healthier in our communities. So whenever you see a tree, go ahead and pull out some weeds. So that's our first bucket down, but as a basic rule of thumb, for every gallon of tree, you wanna give it a gallon of water. So when we first planted these trees, they were in 15 gallon containers. So each of these buckets contains a total of five gallons. So two more buckets to go and we'll be all set. But same procedure applies, right? So another key thing about watering trees, you wanna water at least once a week. You don't wanna overwater your trees, but easy way to check to see if your tree needs water, stick your finger into the soil about two knuckles deep. If the soil is still a little bit moist, maybe wait a day or two. If it's dry, go ahead and give it some water. 
All right, so that's it for me. That's how we actually do tree care here at Tree People. So remember, there's a tree out there for everybody. You know, so go out there, explore, find the tree, and if it looks a little bit sad, take care of it. We're all tree people.